Good morning, sparrows. So today, we will continue to learn about identity in Christ. And we are going to learn that we are precious, valued, and honored in God's sight. So today, the Bible verse comes from 1 Peter 2, 4 to 5. As you come to him, the living stone, rejected by humans, but chosen by God and precious to him. You also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. As children of God in Christ, God gives us jobs or roles to fulfill on this earth, and these roles are honorable because we got to represent the King of Kings and display his amazing character and purposes to the world. So let's look at these honorable titles. I highlighted these titles, living stones, spiritual house, and holy priesthood. So first let's look at here, the beginning of the verse, as you come to him. So who is the him? It is Jesus. And here in the verse, Jesus is called the living stone here with a big letter S. Hmm, stones are sturdy and strong, but living? How could that be? Jesus is the life giver and God repeatedly invites us to come to Jesus to receive new life through him and to develop an intimate relationship with Jesus, to know him personally and to enjoy him. And in a later verse, in verse six, Jesus is called the precious cornerstone. What is a cornerstone? A cornerstone holds up a building. It is the first stone that is set and is the most important stone because it determines whether the building is strong or not. Will it stand in a storm or in an earthquake? Or will the building topple down? So Jesus also builds us into a spiritual house, which is the dwelling place of God, the Holy Spirit. Jesus is the cornerstone we are like living stones that build upon Jesus. Jesus is the one who holds us up. When we build our faith in Jesus, we can withstand the storms in our lives. We can rest in Jesus. We can put our trust in Jesus and let Jesus carry the weight of our burdens. To build the spiritual house, which is invisible by the way, First, there's the cornerstone. Jesus is the cornerstone. Jesus is strong and sturdy. And Jesus is where we start with our faith. Then the living stones are set next to this cornerstone to build the spiritual house. Who are the living stones? Each person who comes to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. As each person comes to know the Lord Jesus, the spiritual house gets built bigger and bigger. And each of these living stones are unique, special and precious to God. Dan, Preston, Naoya, Naki. You are valuable and priceless to God. Abby, Noah, Max, you are unique and handcuffed by God to display his beauty. Mary, Hope, Austin, and Hannah, you are beautiful and an adornment to the Lord. As God's children, we are constantly becoming more like Jesus and the Holy Spirit helps to mold and transform us to be like Jesus. 
Each of us has different skills, talents, abilities, and experiences. I know Abby loves to sing and worship, and Max plays on the piano, and he served us last week. Dan greeted us this morning. It is not a coincidence that you are here as sparrows. You know what? God puts people around us to build us and to grow us, and we all are called to be God's holy temple, to know God, to worship God, and tell others about Him. There's this children's basic truth song called "What Is the Purpose of My Life." So the lyrics go like this: What is the purpose of my life? My purpose is to know God, love Him, enjoy Him. And glorify Him. What is the purpose of my life? My purpose is to know God, love Him, enjoy Him, and glorify Him. We are also called to be a holy priesthood that would offer spiritual sacrifices. In the Old Testament days, the nation of Israel was God's chosen people. They had temples and priests. Priests ministered in the sanctuary. They instructed and blessed the people, and they determined God's will. They also offered sacrifices for the people. Did you know that once a year, only one man out of the million people? From the line of Aaron, the tribe of Levi would be selected as the high priest of the year. It was only a once in a lifetime experience to be in the presence of God. Can you believe that? Wow! Do you know how privileged we are? We. The little living stones can experience the presence of God every second, every minute, any day, because God, the Holy Spirit, dwells in us. Because Jesus, our High Priest, has given us His life as the greatest sacrifice. We do not need to bring a bloody animal as a sacrifice, like people in the Old Testament days. We do not need to go through any human priest. We are called to be God's holy priest. So, what spiritual sacrifices are acceptable to God? They are offerings from the heart. How we live our life. When you offer praise and thanksgiving to God, when you love God with all your heart. When you share God with others and love others, these are sweet-smelling sacrifices to God. Let's pray. <music>